was. Mm. We're going on a plane today. Why? <laughs> Go. We're on the way to our little Airbnb near the airport. We're going to be in a plane in four hours. Feels like it's not today, but it will be in a matter of hours. We'll literally be flying a plane. Oh my god! We're nearly there. Time has been set. We're meeting at three at the airport. <laughs> it's so surreal. What on earth are we doing? Why are we flying a plane today? How has that happened? I've just received an email, Wes. Yeah? From Lee and Katrina, the couple that we met at Boat Life. Lee is a fully qualified flight instructor <laughs> and they've invited us to go and visit them <laughs> and to go in a plane. <laughs> <laughs> like an actual plane. An actual aeroplane. <laughs> Shall we do it? We've got to do that, haven't we? We can't say no. So we're all checked into our Airbnb now and we've got about two hours to go until we're in the sky. It's scary. The host's name's Camilla and she's really lovely. So we'll give you a little pit stop tour. Beds. Rufus's little area, little vanity unit, there are snacks of course, shoes, Rufus, little mirror area, en suite, and we'll just go back from the toilet. It's really nice. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go in a blade. It's so weird, like, that we're literally going to go and fly a plane now. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever say that as a sentence. We're going to be up there. Because you've got, like, all these cool surroundings and you can sort of get a really nice view of them from down here and then in a few hours we'll see them from, like, top down. That's just wild. <laughs> We've both been in planes before and we're not necessarily scared of flying, but this is, like, going to be a little tiny like two person <laughs> trundling along plane which is a very different experience probably going to be smaller than this car inside <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, like obviously it's an airport, but it's an airport. Why are we driving to an airport? I think I've been coping really well with the nerves and I think it's because I know I'll partly be in control. Not that I have any clue what I'm doing on a plane, but now I'm starting to feel a little bit nervous. I'm not really nervous to be honest, I'm excited. <laughs> I think in my head I'm like expecting it to be like <gasps> really intense like really barrel intense. rolls and stuff but it's not it's just a really nice pleasant cruise so i'm excited i can't stop smiling turn right i've never, I've never just sort of driven into an airport like this i don't oh my god <sighs> i can definitely i feel fizzy now do you I haven't been saying anything, like hyping Wes up, but he's not really been nervous, which is, as you all know, very unlike Wes. You might all be about to hit me in one go though, that's the problem. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> we'll follow you. We're following them. Oh my God, there's a... <laughs> they, they're huge. I mean, we're not... We're not going. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going one of those. <laughs> but still, this is so surreal. Like, we are driving into an airport <laughs> to have a flying lesson. <laughs> <laughs> just on a Saturday. It's so cool though as well because like this is like their world, Lee and Katrina, mm -hmm. and we don't know anything about this and it's just so cool. They're just like, oh yeah, you just you just drive around there and then you you just hop in your plane. <laughs> oh I can see tiny. them! <laughs> it's so small, it's like the size of Condor. Here it is, that's the one that we're flying. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Right. Is this look at what I think over here? Why is there just a big plane there? <laughs> oh my god, one second off. <gasps> that goes so fast. <laughs> oh, I'm getting really fizzy now. <laughs> so I'm Lee. And I'm Kat. Um, we're both pilots. We both fly light aircraft like this. 
And I'm also a flight instructor, so my, my day job is I teach people to fly in aeroplanes just like this one here. Just jab, watching some jab planes take off. Hey. So we're here, we've met up with Lee and Katrina, and first things first, we've got to go into a classroom. Are you ready? Yeah. Righty. <laughs> so I've actually shown you the aeroplane yet, but it's that. I mean, it'll do this. Build the suspense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the first thing that Lee did was give us a lesson on the principles of flying, which helped us understand what was happening when we were in the sky. Lee made it really fun and interactive with loads of diagrams, models and questions so that we could properly digest it. Any idea what the movement's called? Wobbling. Wobbling, yes. Where's the nose? Where's the It's really cool, there's loads of like physics and Lee explained it all really well so we're gonna go and check the plane out now. Even though obviously we knew that planes were complicated things, they are so much more complicated than we thought and it's all really counterintuitive. Really, really interesting to hear like a proper breakdown of how it actually works. Here it is. Oh wow, you can just pull it. I can lift it up if I did not expect that. Wow, it's a really pretty plane, lovely. It's small, <laughs> as in like, it's a little bit small. I feel like the outside is very close to you. Oh wow. It's very cosy in there. <laughs> Lee's just about to do the sort of engine checks, pre-flight checks. Yeah, pre-flight engine checks. You got your coolant, your oil, just like on your boat. Yeah. Your car, exactly the same. Just casual. <laughs> Lee's fueling up. Okay, the engine checks are ready. I'm going first because I feel like if I'm going second, I'll be freaking out the whole time. And Amy's always chilled about these sorts of things. I'm not nervous about being in the sky. I'm nervous about controlling it. Like press it left and I'll be like, which way's left? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to do this in the sky. <laughs> this is so crazy that you're going to be in that in the sky. <laughs> We're having a go at flying it as well. <laughs> Wow, it's so nice though. Here we go, Wes. Oh, the nerves have kicked in now. <laughs> yes, take your time. Pull on that, that's it. Nice big step off of the black. Super job, lurch forward a bit. That's it. Is Wes more nervous or less than usual people? He's more nervous. He's less nervous than me. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> You're going to fly a plane. I'm in a plane. <laughs> Fly a plane. <laughs> we use checklists in aviation, so it might, I think it might be in your book. Your so you're going to stop more safety, my harness is secure, your harness is secure, and then maybe. So we're going to close the canopy now, so we get a little bit warm. <laughs> Bye! 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 Bye. <laughs> your uh, knee on the side of the wall there, that rent tab is in the on position, that means there's fuel going to the engine. And we'll just quickly note on the time. It is 25 miles, fantastic. Ah. <laughs> Remain calm. Oh, no. <laughs> this is all fine. Oh! There it goes. There it goes.
careful guidance, have a go at flying for ourselves. It was such a crazy feeling being able to actually drive and steer this thing. turbulence was shaking me up a little bit, but Lee was really good and kept my mind occupied by explaining how the turbulence worked so that I didn't think that we were going to fall out of the sky. Meanwhile, I absolutely loved it and we were doing really cool stuff. <laughs> we went for a more thrill-seeking approach and I loved it. cheeks at home from smiling so much. Do you like it? <laughs> After a little post-flight debrief, it was time to muck in and do some plane chores. Paying our dues. <laughs> right, we've got the clip, that's it. Lee can do the rest. <laughs> got to get all the, the dead flies off. Walking a plane, Amy. <laughs> 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 Can't take the smile off my face now. <laughs> we just flew a plane. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's up there? Honestly, I can't thank Lee enough because he was amazing. He was so like reassuring. Trina stayed on the ground with the other person oh, chatting with Rufus. That really was a once in a lifetime experience. So just thank you both so much. We rounded off the day with chips, of course. <laughs> and then headed back to our Airbnb. Remember me 
god, the setup's <laughs> like, what are you doing? It might be uh, just losing deposits left, right, and centre. We're right up in the countryside in the Cotswolds. Is it a road? <laughs> it's okay, sat now. This is the English countryside for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, anything wider than an hour boat and you're getting your paint scratched. Got a chaperone. <laughs> like us, Lee and Kat also live on a narrow boat, Pura Vida. And also like us, they vlog their travels on their own YouTube channel, which we'll link in the description. They took us for a cruise on their home waters, the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal. We went to one of their favourite spots, the Purton Ships Graveyard, which is basically where they took a bunch of boats from the 1950s and deliberately beached them to reinforce the riverbanks. Second flying lesson. Lee's showing where's another different flying lesson. The drone. <laughs> Rufus doesn't like them as much. <laughs> on Rufus duty. <laughs> Distracting Rufus. Good boy. Louis' turn, piloting the drone. It's so cool. had an amazing, amazing weekend. Thank you so much again, Lee and Kat, for having us and for taking us up in the sky and on a cruise. It has been an unforgettable experience. They're both pilots and both narrowboaters, so check them out on YouTube and Facebook. Huge thank you to the Patreons, Chip Powells, and everyone who leaves lovely comments. And we'll see you next time back at the boat.